Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. We are in the middle of a tropical storm here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows about it. We are in Clifford, the Durango. Uh, there are trees down. The roads are awful, um, flooded-wise. This is a serious mess. Uh, it is really affecting everybody right now. Um, I got sent home early from work, about an hour, um, because there's just nothing to do, because you can't really do anything outside. Um, right now, I am pretty much hydroplaning throughout everything. Um, well, it's not hydroplaning, but the, the puddles are nasty. Um, it is a really, really bad storm. Uh, I'm doing about 40, 45, take my time. This is, uh, it makes me a little nervous, um, because I don't know what's going to be around the next quarter, because Pennsylvania is super unpredictable with the trees and everything, um, and with the roads, they're, they're so hilly and the elevation constantly changes, um, so you don't know when the next road is going to be completely covered, like this one here. This one's completely covered in the middle. And uh, hopefully I just subsided that puddle a little bit for the car behind me. Here's another nasty one. It is blinding when it comes over. Um, it, is, it is seriously bad here. Um, I don't suggest driving through puddles like that if you don't have something with a snorkel, but I, I don't have a choice. I gotta get home. Um, I could have slowed down, obviously, but you know what's the fun in that? Um, the good thing is I'm not gonna have to give give the Durango a bath. Sorry about the shaking camera. You're on a rubber mount, camera mount, so it's uh it's not very very stable. But um, as you, there's there's a truck coming down the highway to my left here. You can't see, but that he is just making giant waves, tractor trailers and everything. Um, the, uh, the highways are flooding bad, really, really bad. Um, normally I would try to turn right at this light on red uh, between some cars, but I'm not even going to attempt it. It is coming down hard. Got the green light. Um, it is nerve-wracking to not be able to see in front of you more than about 100 feet. Um, we're pretty close to home. I, li I, I only live about five minutes from work. But I just want to show you guys the storm. This is insanity. Um, it is coming down so hard. If, if you even step outside for a second, you're, you're drenched. I have rain gear with me. Uh, I've been using it all day at work because I had to run outside a couple times at work. But and this is a nasty, nasty storm, people. This is a big one. Um, as you can see, that truck in front of me is kind of pushing the puddles aside for me. I'm sure it's not really focused too well, but you're going to get what you're going to get, and that's about it. Um, this entire thing here is starting to flood this entire road. The Durango is handling fantastic, thank God. Definitely not going to have to wash it. That's nice. Let's see if we can't get a little burnout going here from the light. We can jump on it and see if we get it, get it to spin. Try to get it to focus too. I'm working on getting it to focus. It's, uh, it's not wanting to. Fun first through third there, both rears. But we were going uphill, so it, it stayed straight, thank God. But uh, this is the hill down into the town I live in. It is coming down like crazy. Uh, I haven't really been able to get any quality content lately, but this is definitely going up on the channel. Our uh, 
pressures are good, oil pressure's good. We're running a little bit cold. Battery voltage is great. Rango's running. Nothing seems to be off. Um, I went through some seriously, seriously deep stuff here. Now, when you poured water, you're supposed to take it slow, but um, I know the roads around here. Um, I know there's no drop-offs or anything randomly. I, I know I've lived here forever, so I know every single, you know, every every single stop, whatever. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one for sure. Make sure you like and subscribe.